PBL stands for Project Based Learning because um, we do a lot of projects and we learn through those projects and it's pretty much based on the projects so we can learn. PBL in my room is what I like to call organized free-for-all academic success. That's where the kids can completely just open up their minds, open up out of the box, go for it. We're going to make a garden, but right now, outside of the school, so we can attract the butterflies. And we have to so research what, what, plants, what plants and flowers to plant and what not to plant. There's some flowers and, and plants are poisonous, poisonous to butterflies. Like the um, Venus flytraps, they, they like going to them, but the Venus flytraps actually eat them, so we don't want to plant those. Because they like going to them because they have sweet, juicy nectar inside of them. But once they go inside, um, it senses the, the animal and it snaps, and it snaps them and it eats them. Well, it doesn't really eat the animal, it sucks its blood. We're um, drawing which flowers to plant in the garden and which not to plant. And yesterday we did uh, the life cycle of a butterfly. The, um, egg, larva, larva or caterpillar, the chrysalis, and the butterfly. And then butterfly. We have been amazed at how our kindergartners this year versus our kindergartners last year can problem solve, work in groups, get things done, think critically. It's just been an amazing thing to see last year versus this year with that engaged model in place. Baby pandas are born, their skin is pink. Funny facts. Pandas have different names like white leopard, bamboo bear, white fox, beast of prey, white bear cat, and banded bear. And I really think that it's cool to see them mock me as a little teacher and you know I'll see some of my students walking around with their hands behind their back. Okay, make sure that you copy that project requirement down. It's really nice to see them in that type of a model and um, just to see, like I said, that they're in charge of their own learning. Well PBL is really fun because you get to like teach yourself what you get to do. Like you don't have a teacher teaching you which is more fun for me because I like to do stuff on my own. In second grade we didn't have PBL yet so uh, we just wrote down some stuff like uh, we didn't have fun creative ways to do it because PBL wasn't here and ever since PBL came then we were able to come up with exciting ideas for it. I think that it does so much more than just teaching um, the subject matter. I think she's also learned to work with groups, um, work well in groups. She's learning how to interact with kids that maybe don't have the same thought process as her. His dad has a habit of asking, what did you learn today? And we used to get nothing a lot more, and now we get not only what he learned, but how he learned it. He loves to talk about um, whether he was the leader or what his role was and how they worked through whatever they were learning. It's been exciting as a mom to see her come home so excited about what the next project is going to be and um, getting her, her DIYs done and working with the group and, and in the end results. She's really enjoyed it. I really love it though. It's fun. I mean, I would love to try it in whatever way, shape, or form with other subjects, you know, and I know it's leading that way and I think that the kids will just totally benefit from it. The kids, they thirst for this. And when a kid thirsts for academics, that's half the battle right there. They want it. When's PBL? What are we doing? They're very excited. So it's a wonderful time in my classroom. I look forward to it. But the most important is the kids are fostering their own academic independence. They're breaking away from me. I'm still there, but they're breaking away from me. And they're on their own. They're taking the ball, and they're running with it. I'm very, very proud of them of what they've done.